So in this video, I'm going to show you how students can um, save their Desmos work uh, while working on the tablet. Um, this is great when they work on long-term projects where they might start a graph on a computer at home or in a computer lab, and while they're in your classroom, they can use a tablet and they could save their work and continue working on the project. Um, and again, um, I'll talk about sharing a little bit towards the end of the video, but um, in general, students do have ability ability to share their graphs. It, does, it seems that on the tablet, um, there is no option to share at this particular moment. Um, but the first thing I want to show you is how to um, sign into a Google account in order to pull up saved work. So we're going to do that through Desmos app. So on my tablet, I'm going to go to apps and I am going to select Desmos. And again, depending on your situation, if your tablets are being shared between students, I would remind them over and over and try to get them in a habit of signing out of accounts once they're done working and this would pertain this would be relevant to Desmos as well um, so in the upper right corner in the app you'll see an option of signing in and the students you don't want the students to create their own account because they have a Google account already um, so they would just sign in if for some reason you are in a school district that does not use Google um, and you don't want students to use their personal Google accounts, then you can have them actually create their own accounts uh, through Desmos. But I think majority of the schools does have Google accounts. Um, in any case, so I'm going to go to sign in. And um, you want to make sure that if you want students to use their Google accounts, they actually click on this option on the top um, and they don't actually go to the bottom portion. So they're going to click on sign in with your Google account. And I'm going to pause the video so I can sign in. All right. Um, so now that I signed in, uh, you will see that my name shows up in the upper right corner. Um, and I actually have access to all my saved graphs that I have created. Um, and you can access them um, to the left, in the upper left corner, to the left of the name of the graph. So if I click on, I have to wait for the join me bar in the top to go away. Um, but I'm actually going to click it on my tablet. Um, so it's in the upper left corner, it's the three solid bars. So it shows you all the graphs that I have saved. And I have, um, I'm going to open the Algebra 1 project. So this was a long-term project that students worked on. I created one for my students to show them the final product. So I can open it up. Um, so again, it gives me an option of opening it up. Um, and so, for example, if a student almost done or has been working on their project, you want them to work on the tablet, they can um, make a couple of changes. So let's say I go and I am going to change a color. So not a major change, but I'm going to make this purple. As soon as I made a change, I now have a save button on the upper left corner that is now green. So now that I made a change, I would have to uh, save my work. So I can click save. Um, again, so there is no option to share this project that I know of. I don't see one. Um, I am going to show you. I can't actually show you. Um, all right, sorry. So I made my screen a little better, a bigger. So right now, what you're looking at, at is my computer screen where I went to desmos.com and I'm signed in. But you notice that I have these other options. I have print and I have share the graph. 
um, which was not an option on the tablet. So that is something that you should be aware of the teacher. So if you need students to share their final pro uh, products with you, um, it will be impossible for them to do on a tablet that would actually need access to a computer. So, um, you know, on the computer, they'll have um, an option to share this graph as an image. They can email it to you depending on what is it that you want to do. And hopefully the option to share the graph will eventually um, show up.